I love you so much. Hey, baby. That's not nice. Oh, see, that's how you get Paisley to pay attention. Hey, baby, I love you. Honey, you're so cute. Paisley! Hey! Don't you play with me. And in my lap, I have a Lear. Lear! Having my coffee. Uh, let me show you my setup. Okay. So, I have my art things here. Well, actually, I have my food journal here. My art things here. And when I say my art things, it's like, I'm not doing paintings. I'm doing, like, sketches and some small watercolors. So, that's the stuff. Then here, I have my Bible, because I have some stuff to go over. Um... We are doing, like I said, our children's church ministry is being put together. So, this is my notebook for that. And then that's the rest of my art stuff and lottery tickets. Oh, yeah. And then I have right here all my uh, my two boxes, my Ipsy box and my Birch box from February that I need to take pictures of so I can blog. And I have my laptop in front of me as my blog. And I'm sitting on the couch all set up to roll and this is what I'm doing and then when I get a little ahead of this I'm gonna go start working on laundry so much fun this is the cranberry almonds um warm and country granola and it is so good it is four points um the milk I don't count because I use I think I've already told you guys this a thousand times but I use half a cup which is one point of milk and I use that in my coffee and in this so the coffee counts as the one point and the milk is so incidental it's like not even a fourth of a cup here so there you go four points okay lunch is served and it is asparagus I'm eating all of the asparagus because it's like I have to cook it now and eat it or it won't work out so lots of asparagus and an ear of corn corn raw I love raw corn it's so good okay Talk to you guys later. Hello, guys. What's going on? Um, I'm like playing with my hair. This is my this Okay. Using my camera as a, um, as the, what's it called? Mirror. Mirror. Okay. I'm trying to stay focused. I'm also playing with my hair, which is not necessarily going to work that great. So, yesterday, okay, I think in one of my food, I think in a couple of my food vlogs, I've mentioned the, um, my church meeting, or like the children's church, and I just assumed that I told you guys what was going on with that, but what I realized is I don't think that I did, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. <clears throat> so, my church, my pastor's been a pastor for a while. For a long time. She um, did some, she had a church in California and a church in Austin and even a church in Louisiana, several, two, two churches, um, over, over the span of, you know, a while. So, um, she, for various reasons, had stopped pastoring. Um, I think it's more like life stuff. It wasn't like, you know, oh, I just don't believe in it. Just you know, you, you have to make a living, and you have to live, and you have to just follow God's path, really. So if God says take a break or puts you in a different place, you are in a different place, right? So then she started our church now, um, I think about, I don't know, a couple of years back. <clears throat> and um, we found a church in December of 2012 and have been going literally every week. Uh, I missed one week this last year because I was sick. Um, so it's been really amazing. Um, and But we've been in interim locations. So it's been like, um, what am I saying to you? Okay, like uh, in, in different places, like conference rooms at hotels and stuff like that. Now we are in... Actually, the girl who I used to take Zumba from, her um, her studio location is not used on Sundays, so we rent that and we set up there. I think you might have seen those like clips of that um, 
clips of that here or there in my videos. Anyway, so, um, um, so, so, um, why not? Okay. We just bought a building, not just a couple months ago, we bought a building, and we are about to move into it, and there is an expectation, and I believe it's going to happen, that once we have a neighborhood, we're going to get more people, and with more people comes more kids. Right now, my children and one other family's kids, they have two kids, a girl and boy, are the only regular children there. Um, so... There's just a need for a more structured situation. Also, there's going to be like a nursery and there's going to be just volunteers are going to be needed and stuff. Well, our pastor brought in um, my wife who has a real heart for like youth ministry, not so much children, but she's got a real passion. She got involved. She got saved and involved in a church when she was a teenager. And while there were some negative experiences because she was gay, and, and I guess also because of that, she feels very, very passionately about the safety of those minds and those children and the need for them to have something good where they can express themselves and figure out who they are and what they are and, and all those kind of things. So um, she's got a real passion for that. Uh, that's what she's interested in. And she expressed that early on. It just kind of came from her. Um, and then when we got involved in church, she, she expressed that to them. And that is going to be her role in the future. Uh, kind of like taking care of that. So in creating our children's church, our official children's church, the pastor brought in my wife for, because of that. Um, me, uh, we have a friend, Alan, who is, um, she's probably going to wind up being a pastor sooner than later, uh, and, and so she's kind of sitting in as a volunteer. I'm going to be like a volunteer, but then there's two other women, and that makes up the Children's Church Committee, and what we're doing right now is literally putting together our manual, our handbook, our expectations, our applications, and figuring everything out and building it from the bottom up. So that's what we've been doing. Um, and every time we talk about children's church meetings, they are long meetings. We say, oh, two hours, and it runs up being hours and hours. Because there's so much to cover, and the reality is we're going to be getting into this, that building soon, and we really need to get done. Um, yesterday was our children's church meeting. And it happened right at the church. Sundays are really wacky food days. Anyway, what I have been doing lately, and it's, this week has been a miraculous week. It has been so awesome. And what I've been doing lately, along with counting momentum points, and, you know, every, and having the total gym to be able to move my body and everything else, is when I first lost my weight, I was at work. And in work, I went to work at 7, between 7 and 8. You could get there between 7 and 8, maybe between 4 and 5, but anyway. Um, so I went I went to work between 7 and 8. Then, then we had a 15-minute break at 9.30. Then we had lunch anywhere between 12 and 1. Then we had a 2.30 break, 15 minutes, and then we got off, right? And so my food naturally wound up being, you know, coffee in the morning, snack or breakfast at 9, um, lunch, you know, snack, like it, it naturally just kind of wound up getting broken up. And if I was going to have something between those times, it would be like an orange or a piece of fruit that I could just have at my desk. So I was like, you know what? I'm going back to timing my food. I'm going back to, you know, 9.30 breakfast because what I've been doing is either and I'm going to be the first to admit that it's not all healthy habits. Either skipping breakfast or pushing breakfast back to like noon or um, just we're eating when I first get up at 7 and it just has not been working. So this past week when I went back to points, I also went back to eating on a schedule like that and it has been awesome. So I knew going to church was going to throw me off. It always does anyway. Because 
you know, we, we have to leave our house early to get to church on time. And then we're there from, you know, we leave at like 8.30 and then we're there to at least 2.30. Like we get home around 2.30 at least. That's the earliest. It's, it's always like, oh, it's 8 to 2.30, but we never get home that early. But anyway, so that's our chunk of time, which means that I'm eating before 8.30 and I'm not eating again until after 2.30, which kind of throws things off. Um, if that's, if I ate, if I skipped breakfast, I'm not eating until 2.30. It's bananas. Well, yesterday I woke up, I went for my walk with my Gipper, and my god, child, I love her little ring, she's so sweet. Um, and then I ate breakfast, and then I packed my breakfast, my, my lunch, and the thing is, I was packing, like, I didn't want to have to bring a cooler or anything. So it was like all this has to travel. So I didn't have my yogurt. I didn't have like any of like the cottage cheese or the things I would have snacked on. We didn't get home till after 6.30. So I was gone from 8.30 to 6.30. And when we sat down to lunch, they had pizza. Everybody had like, oh, they had all these different flavors. They had fantastic pizza. And it was all over. And, you know, there was a part of me that was like, oh, I can have pizza. And then, you know, but... I was like, hold on, hold on, there is always, and I have been saying this since I found my church, there's always a reason to eat. It's, it, once you have a community of people and a network of people, there's always a birthday, There's all, then there's a holiday, then there's two birthdays, then there's a party, then there's a celebration, then there's a funeral, then there's a wedding, then there's a birthday, then there's a you know, holiday, it's like bananas. There's always two or three reasons to eat every freaking day, <laughs> you know. And I was like, if I don't get into the habit of just being like, sorry, I can't, then that's what's going to happen. And they were so supportive and so receptive. Um, when I first started losing weight, and I talked about this in my videos, people were kind of ugly about it. My, my mom was so viciously angry that I brought Subway to her house um and and my my mom was also really mad because I opted to skip a Thanksgiving dinner that first year it was like I know my family they they first they eat and then they sit like they set up the food like buffet style on the counter because the kitchen counter is like a U so you can set it up and then and then they go and eat and then it's not like a big dining table, so it's like people eat all over the house. And then they sit at the cafe counter where the food is and talk for hours. And you know what you do when you're sitting with rolls and cupcakes and finger foods and little plates with all this food spread out? You eat. You just, it's just natural to like pick on food and stuff. And I wasn't feeling like I was strong enough to deal with that at that point, so I skipped um, that was my very first Thanksgiving on Weight Watchers, and what my wife and I did. I'm having problems with my computer, I'm sorry. What my wife and I did was we opted instead to have a turkey here and to have a fruit uh, platter and a veggie platter so that I could graze all day. So that there were healthy options, and it was a really, really good thing for me, but my mom was mad. And over time, slowly, everybody at one point or another got mad, but I'm, I was like, I'm not going to let you being upset with me or me not being a part of that group distract me from losing 100 pounds, because at that point, that's what I was trying to lose. So I was kind of like, you know what, Tony, you have to get back in that mindset, you have to, and it was so good, and they were so supportive, and like, Miss Petey was like, oh, because it was her house. I have all this fruit cut up. I eat fruit salad every day for lunch, so I know you're trying to do something. So, and it was just so kind. And and when I said no to things, it wasn't like, hey, sure, come on, you can, you know. It was like, all right, cool, good for you. And that support means so much. And like, especially, especially, I gotta cry, knowing how hard it is when you don't have it to just receive it was just awesome. Um, a lot of people, like my family members, would be like, that's like, why? You're still small. It's not about small. It's about health. It's about, um, first of all, I have put on weight and I'm not happy about it. Second of all, 
I don't feel good when I when I eat that stuff. Third of all, I'm dealing with my fibro and extra weight doesn't help and eating junk doesn't help. Um, I want to be able to move and to exercise and, and it's hard enough when you don't feel good. But when you add and I'm taking in yucky fuel, it just amplifies the problem. So it's silly. So I wound up not eating it and I felt so good about that decision. And I came home and I had my points, you know, I had, uh, when I got home, I had 14 points left at 6.30. And then here's a new, another thing, like normally at that point, like if I was counting calories, I'd be like, oh, see, I don't have to use any more calories, I just go to bed. Um, but I was like, no, I'm using my points. I'm using all of my points because I had 14 points, like left to my normal daily points, and then I had actually earned two activity points. I am not forcing myself to eat activity points. But I was like, hold on, not only do I have all those points left, but I actually burned some, which means I really need to get to those, that point, like the, the 23 points. I have to, like that's just a, it has to happen. I, I Okay, this video, is, it's, my camera is acting crazy, crazy. My computer, as I have mentioned, is starting to kind of die on me. She's done a great job for a lot of years, but, um, all right. So what I was saying was, I, I I have to use my points, right? And 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 that's a big difference in my mental shift. And but what's I have not yet weighed myself. However, I can tell you that I feel a difference, um, in my body. I feel a difference in my clothes. Um, I can kind of see a difference in my face. So I'm expecting at least a pound and a half. Um. And I, I think it's kind of bananas. They, you know, and I said this many times, a calorie is a calorie is a calorie. And I feel like part of being part of this community and sharing your journey is, is talking about when you feel like you did a misstep. I truly and honestly believe that. But, and people would be like, if you don't eat enough, you'll gain weight. Now, I will tell you, I have gained weight. But I have my journals. I can show you, and I, I tracked on, on, on Lose It, I can show you, if you do the math on my um, calories, I should not have gained this weight. What I think happens is from eating way too low, then going, okay, I can eat, you know, like, all right, I'll have three, 600 calorie days. All right, now I'm going to eat 2,000 calories. Where that 2,000, normally, like, I burn around 17 to 1,900 calories a day. So, that 2,000 should not have made me gain weight. But I think it did, because my body was like, wait, we have to hold all of this, because we don't know when we'll get that. And that is such a weird thing, but it's true. And now, the idea that I am going to have, have a loss this week, when I have eaten more this week than I probably have eaten... And any week's time in over a year and a half is insane. It's insane and it's awesome because you guys know I love food. Hello. I am little fat me. I am the, like, original fat girl. You know what I'm saying? I love food. And uh, the idea that I can engage with food and lose weight is something that I knew, but I lost. And I am so happy to have that. And then on top of that, I found this. I was going through and I was like, I can still use my, I can still use my cookbooks. Like, even if they are point plus. But this, this hit the spot. It's like, um, savory, crispy, spicy, and sweet recipes you'll love. And it's like all kinds of fun foods. Like, fries and, <clears throat> let me say, let me give you an example. Um... I'm gonna go with that. Um, simply savory. It's like uh, blue cheese popovers, Parmesan garlic stuffed mussels, cumin scented snap peas and radish salad, grilled uh, tri tip with chipotle butter. Okay. Um, crispy and crunchy oven roasted chili chickpeas, chopped salad with Russian dressing, pepper and coriander crusted filet mignon. 
uh, like you see, it's like just fun food. And they, this is a, a momentum book. How fun is that? I feel like it was just totally meant. It, it's like, um, to help you stick to momentum plan. Hello. That's awesome. Um, I'm trying to think. I read something earlier and I wanted to read you guys, but now I, don't, I can't find it. Oh, most of these recipes can be made in under 30 minutes, which is like, I have a craving, I can look it up, I can recreate that craving in a healthy way, and and that's awesome. And so we will be doing recipe videos. We will totally be in the kitchen, and I miss being in the kitchen with you guys so bad. Um, okay, so that's, that's what's going on. Uh, I, 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 I hope I'm not repeating myself too bad, I, I, but I'm, I'm just so excited. I did also want to mention that some, I've gotten a lot of awesome feedback. I can't thank you guys enough. I, but somebody left a comment, and they were like, I think it's T. Warner, um, left a comment, and they were like, I, I watched most of your videos. It took me four days. And that is so awesome. And I totally understand, because when I find a weight watcher who I adore, or a, a weight loss um, blogger who I adore, I totally just saturate myself and I think it's awesome. I also completely appreciate somebody who goes back through the videos even if you don't go through all of them because I feel like I will often get comments from people who will be like like they'll correct me on points plus and it's like I dig I know points plus I used to work at Weight Watchers and sell it and teach people I dig it but for me I don't want to do it so please don't yell at me. Um, I, I People who get really upset when I call myself little fat or when I refer to um, use the word fat because they're like you don't have any right to eat that you're not fat it's like go back you don't know where I've come from so you can't yell at me uh, we can't yell at me anyway because this is my internet place but you know it, it's just a very like you don't know my history with food addiction you don't know my history at all go back it's all there it'll help you understand and if you want to watch these videos then that will help you understand these videos better that's, I mean, if you don't want to go back, you can still watch the videos, clearly. But I'm just saying, I really appreciate that. Um, so, T. Warner, thank you. Um, everybody else, thank you, too. And if, if, if you, T. Warner, I know you just said you just um, joined 360. Uh, oh, I mean, Weight Watchers. So I'm guessing that you're doing 360 or, or Points Plus. If you have any questions on that or if you need any support, I will totally help. I don't judge anybody else who feels like, Points plus works for them. It just doesn't work for me, and I like momentum better. But I will totally help out if there's anybody. If I can talk to anybody, if you're struggling and you just want to talk to somebody else who is, if you are just starting and you want to talk to somebody who's been there, like you can totally reach out. I love connecting. Awesome. Uh, here's my food: cottage cheese for an afternoon snack. Two points. Ooh, it's a mid-afternoon snack. It's one of those banana bread English muffins and PB2, hello, and sliced up banana sandwich. Oh, so good. Pickle, dishes, and what's that? Oh, Warehouse 13. I feel like this is deja vu, but really it's just another day of the same stuff. Yuck. Okay. Look, my house is not in the straightest of order right now, so just deal with that. In fact, see, that's my space bags I'm dealing with and all the dog stuff I have to resort because that's for kennel that's covered in a blanket and that's their food. And then all that is where dog stuff gets piled until it gets re-straightened out. So her baby blanket and her sweater and stuff I need to fold and take care of. Anyway, but this is where I'm keeping the total gym right now. Uh, to give you a point of reference, these tiles are 18 inches square, so that's about how wide it is. It's it's about 10 inches wide. Well, I think it's 15 if you count all the bits. Of, I meant the wheel to wheels 10. Um, and it, so and it actually would get skinnier, but I don't have it leaned up against the wall, so I need it a little bit wider so that it can stand. But that's where I keep the total gym, right there, right next to the cat's dinner table. That's where the cats eat. See, that's the cat's food, and that drawer holds all the cat stuff. And it's about 5:30, which is dinner time, huh, Kenny? Is it dinner time? You're not gonna talk to us? No. Are you gonna talk to us, Lear? 
Happy Year. They talk all the time, but you know, not when you have the camera on, I guess. Okay, just to just to be up front, this is what my house looks like right now. So that's the laundry I'm about to do. Actually, that's laundry I need to fold. This is laundry I need to sort and do. It's actually my laundry day to get started, so then you go over here, that's where the cat box is hiding, and that's the cat's tree. This is that that's usually put away, but lately the cats have not been wanting to walk through that little square to get to their cat box, so it has to be out. Alright, so you come that's where the dog bed is. Well, that's their blanket. It gets picked up every night. Um obviously laundry baskets because my laundry uh, it needs to be done and and my top laundry basket is where I'm keeping all of my total gym bits and pieces for now that's a charger I guess a kid put down but um, all the bits and pieces because I don't have a place to organize that quite yet anyway um, then you're gonna come over here so sectional sofa that's where I have all my art stuff that I showed y'all early today that I've been working on and I plan on working on again tonight so it's actually <laughs> it's actually straight it's just kind of well it's actually clean so kind of unstraightened. I just need to get everything back to being organized. Um, and I need a vacuum and oh, it's gonna be so much fun. But anyway, right now we're doing a workout. So this is how the total gym, this is the second stage. So you lay it down flat. And again, each one of these are 18 inches and it takes up one, two, three, four, five of them. Five, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna show you the next step. The next step is to stand up this middle piece. And then here, because the total gem is going to slide up and down, right? And your resistance is going to be dependent on Paul and Wiley move how up you set this. I think that that's like, one is like 10% of your body weight and it goes all the way up to eight, which is 70% um, of your body weight. So, you know, there you go. Um, I'm going to set it very, very low because I am just trying to keep a range of mo movement right now and then um, my legs are feeling better, my arms and neck are still hurting so I'm going to set it very low for that but when I do my legs I'm going to set it higher because my legs are feeling better. Okay, so you're setting the resistance by pulling this out and lifting it. And then it's where this is at, where these bars line up, that's resistance. So it's at two, because I'm going to do my arms. Uh, I had to do it on one, they were so bad and so weak. But I'm hoping they'll be alright. Um, so there we go. Okay, and as you can see, I now have it set on four, which is halfway up. And I'm going to do my legs on four, because they are feeling better, but they're not feeling great. My arms are killing me. My hands started to hurt so bad. So it was rough, but I got through the 15 minutes. Now I'm going to do 15 minutes of legs. So I'll have a half an hour workout. Uh, and then I'm going to do some stretching. And I left these. These are actually arm things, but I left them on because I'm going to use those uh, to do an inversion. Like I'm going to turn this kind of like into an inversion table by bringing it all the way up to eight. So that there's a lot of angle and then hooking my feet here so I can lay upside down. It's really nice. Do, um, dinner is zoodles uh, with light alfredo sauce, shrimp, spinach, mushrooms, and tomatoes. All together the sauce is one point, the zoodles are zero, the random veggies are zero, and the shrimp are two. So that's a three point dinner.